Superman Legacy is probably my most anticipated film of 2025. And every new piece of news that I hear about the film only makes me more hyped to go see it. But one thing that's really cool is it turns out Clark will not be the only superhero in this movie. We got Nathan Fillion playing Guy Gardner Green Lantern, who is probably the most hated Lantern. He's really kind of an asshole. I mean, even other Lanterns don't like this dude. Still, we could always use more raw power. And Earth has a third Green Lantern, Guy Gardner. No. But we could really- No. Like, look at that haircut. I don't even like this dude, it's atrocious. Anthony Carian, who is playing Metamorpho, AKA Rex Mason. I am so hyped for this. Rex Mason, Metamorpho, is able to change his body into anything. In comics, he's a member of the Outsiders, a team founded by Batman, and it was actually Young Justice that made me like this character. Dude can't be killed. His attitude going up against Deathstroke, I just loved it. Tip of the iceberg, Strokey. Show me. <laughs> hurts, doesn't it? Sure. Sure it hurts. But you want to know a secret? I'm in near constant pain. I've just learned to adapt. <laughs> Anyone need a left? Looks like I ride here. Eddie Gethige is going to be playing Mr. Terrific, the third smartest man on the planet. He has no powers, but I mean, obviously neither does Batman. And like Batman, Mr. Terrific is in peak human condition. Strength, agility, reflexes, everything. His most recognizable gadgets are his T-spears, which allow him to fly. They act as cameras, projectiles. Low key, this might be James Gunn's version of Tony Stark. I ain't gonna lie. Then we got Maria Gabriella as the engineer. And holy crap, the engineer is a member from the Authority. She's a scientist who replaced her blood with liquid metal nanotechnology. That's why she looks like this. But with all that nanotech in her body, she can use her body to form weapons and solid objects. We already know back in 2023, James Gunn mentioned that they were gonna give us an Authority film. So having the engineer in Superman is obviously gonna set that up in some way. And of course, Isabella Murr as Hot Girl. I talked about this before. I'm excited for this. Isabella Murr is bad as hell. Like, look at her. She is bad. And we already saw Hawkman in the Snyderverse with Black Adam. He didn't play around. The Hawk people do not play around. I hope the Gunverse Hawk Girl is the exact same way. Because Thanagarians, you don't want to mess with them. They ain't no punks. They're close by. I can almost smell them. Are you always so eager to fight? My home, Thanagar, is a warlike world. There, one must strike first, or die. Now, when these other superheroes were announced for the film, James Gunn addressed the concern that this movie might have too many superheroes in it, taking the focus away from Lois and Clark. But James responded saying, I've never used one movie to set up another movie. The characters are there because they help tell Superman's story better, not so we can set up separate projects in the franchise. Superman and Lois are the very clear protagonists. I think all these other heroes just goes to show this isn't a Superman origin story, thank God. But I think it's gonna be good. It's obviously gonna open up the DC Universe with the Green Lantern Corps and the Authority. Wendell Pierce is Perry White, Alex Luthor, who will no doubt be better than this garbage ass knockoff. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have total faith in this. James Gunn is gonna cook with this movie. He's gonna cook with these characters. And like he said, this isn't something that is trying Trying to set other stuff up. This is a story, they're focusing on the story, and these characters will only add to the story. And honestly, I think that's a smart thing to do, especially with the first movie. You don't want to go off 
and, and try to do setups with the first movie. You know what I mean? Guys, let me know what you think of this roster of characters. I think it's so cool. I think it's interesting and I think it's strategic. I can see what they're doing and I really think they're gonna make this the kind of Superman movie that audiences have been hungry and hopeful for. This man is a beacon of hope and having these specific characters in this movie is going to make him shine as that beacon of hope. And I like that. I mean, what more can you ask for from a Superman movie? You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.